Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'll be showing you how to route your Nexus 6P on the latest Android Nougat for the first build. So here I'm on Android 7.0, as you can see down here on the NRD90M build. And today I'll be showing you how to route this uh, from the start. So I haven't unlocked the bootloader, and we're gonna get started pretty much straight away. So first things first, I'd like you to install the drivers necessary for this process to continue. I already have done this on my computer and it's kind of a, a little bit of a hassle to uninstall those uh, every time I want to do something like this, but I do have a video on it and I'd like you to check it out. It will be in the more info down below. It will be the first link here to install the drivers here. It's a YouTube video. So you can go ahead and look at that. And once you've done that, you can come back here and we'll get uh, back into it. So on our device, you'll need to go into the or you'll need to enable the developer options as we need to enable OEM unlocking. So tap on the build number seven times until it says you are a developer and you want to hit back once and you want to tap on developer options. Uh, this is the option you want to make sure is enabled, OEM unlocking. You just want to make sure that's turned on. So before it's off and all you need to do is turn on, enter your pattern and tap on enable. Now if that's grayed out for you for some reason, try rebooting your device and trying again. Uh, that might clear it up for you. Now at this point, we're going to unlock the bootloader. So that means you'll need to back up all your stuff on your phone as the entire internal storage will be formatted and erased uh, with that process. So before we can do that, we need to head back to our computer, of course, and there are a couple things that we need to download. So I got these in the wrong order, but first things first, we need to download our Android tools zip. This pretty much contains the ADB fastboot uh, executables uh, along with their DLLs. So what you're gonna download and is and it will look something like this. So it just has four files in there. And all I'd like you to do is save it somewhere so you can easily access it. I've just made a new folder called Android and I'm gonna be downloading everything in there. So the next thing you wanna download is TWRP for the Nexus 6P. Now of course, you can come over to this link and then hit on the primary downloads, but I think I have a link to directly to this page. And you wanna download the latest one. So that's 3.0.2-1 and that is the one that works like 100% with Android N. And the last thing you want to download is the latest version of SuperSU. In this case, in this case it's uh, 2.76. So if that's higher, then there's no problem. Just download the latest one. And once you have four files, including the drivers, but three if we're excluding that, uh, we can get started straight away. So all we need to do is open up Android Tools, the zip file, and we want to extract all these four files outside, just normally, just like that. And that's pretty much it. So now we're going to go and unlock the bootloader. Now to do this, we're going to go to our device and you need to make sure, well, we need to turn off our device and put it in the bootloader. Now you can do an ADB reboot dash bootloader if you'd like to do that, but we'll go through this manual way just so I guess you can kind of get used to it just in case anything goes wrong. So all you need to do is in fact hold the power button and volume down and that should get you to the bootloader. Now the bootloader looks a little like this. It should be exactly the same, and it should be on start, uh, but it doesn't matter. So all you need to do now is plug in your device, and this is after you've backed up all your data pretty much, because after we type a few commands on our computer, it will um, erase everything on there. So this is what we are going to do now. So we have our folder here with Android, and we have the extracted files, right? All you need to do is hold shift and click or right click and then click on open command window here. Now this changes the directory for you. So in case you got in like a large folder structure or something like that, you don't have to keep on changing directories to that or type out a long uh, change directory command. So now that we've in our directory, we're gonna type in fastboot devices, just like that. And this should pop up your serial number and the mode it's in, fastboot, should pop up if not, you're going to have to check the drivers again, so I'll just quickly show you. You can right click on the start menu if you're on Windows 8 and above, or you just need to go to device manager. So you can right click on computer and then manage if you're on Windows 7. And you want to see an Android device at the top or something similar. I've heard people having uh, Intel Android bootloaders and all that. Um, as long as it works, I think you should be fine. But try get the Google USB drivers uh, installed. So you can see the bootloader interface has been installed. Otherwise you might see 
a, an unidentified device with a little orange exclamation mark. Now that's the one you want to probably right click and install the drivers for, which is covered in that driver installation video, uh, link down below. So next we're going to type in fastboot uh, flashing unlock, just like that. I'm going to hit enter and you can see our device has changed now and, we, and it asks us if we want to unlock the bootloader. Upon pressing the power button to select yes, your device will reboot into recovery and do a factory reset. So once you're comfortable that you've backed up everything, click on yes and it'll say unlocked uh, and then your phone will reboot into recovery or sorry into the bootloader and then at this point you can actually start the rooting process uh, which I'll do actually I'll try it right now so it's a little bit different from what I used to do I'd ask you to go back in your phone and set up but I think we can get away with this so but we'll have to remember to do a few things so now that our bootloader is unlocked you can check down here device is unlocked it's a little, little bit small, but that's all right. Well, we will have to restart. So just press the power button here and restart our device. So I'll be back when this pretty much boots all the way to Android. And you can set up your phone on this one. There will be no more factory resets unless you decide to flash a ROM or something like that. But just for rooting purposes, uh, this will boot up normally. And you can enter all your Google details and all that. And yeah, I'll be back when that finishes booting up. Alrighty, so our device is booted back up and I've pretty much set it up. That. We need to copy SuperSU to our device. So to do that, we're going to re-plug in the USB cord because sometimes it doesn't detect itself back up. So we're going to tap on USB for charging and we're going to change it to transfer files. So that way our computer can access our device's storage. So I'm just going to go in there and we're going to copy the SuperSU file there. We can just drag it in to an empty space like here and it will be copied. So now, once you've copied SuperSU, you can unplug your USB cable and you want to reboot back into the bootloader again. And those will be our final, uh, final touches. Again, we're going to have to hold power and volume down to get into the bootloader, like so. And plug in our USB cord again. And going back to our command prompt window, we need to type in this command to flash TWRP. So tap in fastboot flash recovery and leave a space on the end and drag in our image, hit enter, and this time it says it's all right. Now what we're going to do now is to press the volume down key until we get to an option saying recovery mode. Uh, it's in red. I'm not sure if you can, no, you can't see that. Now you can see that recovery mode. It's still a little bit faint, but you want to hit the power button when it's on recovery mode and this will boot our device into TWRP. So it's just gonna take a few seconds to boot into TWRP and we should be able to see it very soon here. Now make sure you flash the 3.0.2-1 version of this which allows the decryption of your data partition on Android N. And you can see it's decrypted now, which is fine. And kind of to pre uh, preserve our phone, we're going to, I guess, you can keep it read-only or swipe to allow modifications doesn't really matter, but um, we'll keep it read-only for now. So this kind of allows you to get OTAs and things. So you'll be able to take OTAs using flash fire uh, much more easily. So now we're going to install SuperSU. And of course, this will be the systemless variant of it, as it does so automatically on the Nexus 6P. It will choose systemless mode. Uh, if it's system, it will say system mode. So it's going to patch our boot image for to allow to allow it to run pretty much. And this shouldn't take too long, it's uh, getting quicker every time. Now it's saying the first reboot may take a few minutes and it can loop for a few times as well, which is completely normal. I've done this uh, a lot of times. So all you need to do is tap on reboot system and wait for our phone to boot all the way up. And then we'll check the root status of it and make sure it's rooted. Alrighty, so now we're booted back up and well, we can first have a look at SuperSU. I want to go expert because notice that nothing really changes no matter what you press. So it works. And we're going to open up our root checker app and hit agree, hit OK, and then click on verify root and we'll ground it root access. So you can see we're properly rooted here on Android 7.0. And so thank you for guys for watching. 
and if you have any more requests on I guess anything now on Android 7.0 and I still have that substratum video to do as well and I think a couple of others but if you have any other suggestions for tutorials on anything now uh, feel free to leave it down in the comments below anyways thank you guys for watching and of course if you have any questions uh, please feel free to comment it down below as well so thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you in the next one